Hello everyone, this is Rashida. In my last video, I explained how a simple linear regression works. In this video, we'll work on a linear regression problem using Python's scikit-learn library. You will see how easily you can perform machine learning using this library. We are going to use the famous Iris dataset. We can load that dataset directly from Seaborn library. Load dataset Iris. So this is the iris data set. We have simple length, simple width, period length, period width, and species. And look, for a simple linear regression problem, we do not need all these variables. If you remember this diagram from my last video, look, in simple linear regression, we have only one dependent variable and one independent variable, right? So we need one training feature. This is the machine learning language training feature. I will explain it later. And we need one label, this is y, the dependent variable. So we will keep only two variables and exclude the rest of them because we do not need them. So iris, iris, pedal length, pedal width. Let's see. So for an iris dataset, now we have only pedal length and pedal width. As per this equation, we need one x and one y. And this m and c are the training parameters that we will find out, we will calculate later on. So let's see, iris, this period length is our x. And this period width is our y. So, period width. So using x and y, we need to find out m and c, the training parameters, so that if we have x, we can predict or estimate y. We will explain some more later. As we mentioned in our last video that we need to have some relationship, some correlation between x and y to be able to perform a linear regression. So let's see if this x and y have some kind of correlation. So import matplotlib. Pi plot as plt, so plt dot scatter x y. Look at it. We actually have some correlations, some good positive correlations. Plt dot x label, pedal length, and plt dot y label, uh, pedal width. Before we move on to any machine learning, we usually split the dataset into training and test dataset. So we can use the training dataset for training purpose to train the model, and we can test the model using the test dataset. To do the splitting, we have the function train test split. So from sklearn dot model selection import train test split now x train do this x train x test y train y test then train test split x y okay now we have to give a test size 0 0.4 and random state uh, 23. What test size 0 0.4 means? It means that it will keep 40% of the data for testing purpose as X test and Y test. And Y random state 23. For that, let's see X train. Look at the X train here. Look at this row number 77, 29, 92, 23. So it takes the random rows it doesn't take top 60 percent or bottom 60 percent for the training data or top 40 percent or the bottom 40 percent for the testing data it takes it random rows to make up that 60 percent or 40 percent if you run this train test split again it will take different random rows so if we want to recreate the same splitting we have to use a random state and this 23 is not constant you can use any other number but when you regenerate the data you have to use the same number 
this is x frame is one dimensional in scikit learn libraries the machine learning uh, algorithms take two dimensional data so we need to reshape this x x train and x test to two dimensional data so for that we need to import numpy libraries first and then x train we need to np dot array to convert it to array x train dot reshape minus one one look x train here it is it's two dimensional now look at it we are going to do the same with x test okay x test x test became two dimensional as well so data is ready now so we need to import the linear regression from scikit learn library first from sklearn dot linear model import linear regression now let's save the linear regression model to a variable linear regression so this is the model we need to fit our x train and y train lr dot fit we need to fit our x train and y train to this linear regression model what this will do we talked about how we keep changing m and c and we find the optimum m and c for this best fit line to fit this straight line to the dots when we fit x train and y train to this linear regression model this is what happens it finds this m and c to find this best fit line generally M is called the slope of the line and C is the intercept, right? But in machine learning, M is called the coefficient and M and C are called the training parameters. When we fit X train and Y train to this linear regression model, this is called the training. That means we actually trained this model. And after this fitting process is done, that means the training is done, this LR model should have the training parameters M and C okay let's see lr dot intercept so we have the intercept and look at the coefficient lr dot coef m oh not n yes. this is the m the coefficient or the slope for the linear model now we already have m and c so if we have the x now, we should be able to estimate the y. Let's see if we can estimate the y. y cred train. So first we take m times m times x train plus c. So, okay, instead of this, let's put underscore y cred train. So this is how it looks like okay but for scikit-learn library there is a predict formula so you can use directly the predict formula lr dot predict x train we already fit x train and y train to the lr that means lr should be trained and it should be able to predict now okay let's do y cred train one now y print train one you can see here okay i will flatten it okay so this one is one dimensional so let's make this one one dimensional too so that we can compare dot flatten so it will become one dimensional so you can see that the values are exactly the same 1.733 0.315 1 1.7330.315, 1.98, 1.98. So these are exactly the same thing. So you do not need to calculate like this. You can simply use the predict function and it will calculate it for you. Let's check if we found the best fit line. Okay, let's just copy this and paste it here. X train. 
Y train because we actually used X train and Y train, right? So I'm using that control C. X train and I will use Y pred train one here. Okay, and the color red. So we plotted X train versus Y train and then X train versus this prediction. Now see, we found our best fit line. This is the red line. This is the best fit line, isn't it? Instead, we can actually put the line. Now, if we have the pedal length using the model, we can actually get the pedal width. Even if the pedal width is not directly on the dot, but at least it will be close enough, isn't it? If it's here, at least we'll find the value here. So it's going to be at least close enough. We used X train and Y train all this time. Now what to do with X test and Y test? We used X train and Y train to train the model right here. But the model have never seen X test and Y test. So we can test this model using X test now. Let's see the way it was able to predict for X train if it can predict the same for X test. Let's copy this. And X test instead of X train, let's see X test, Y test one. So, yeah, it did predict something, but let's see how right or how good the prediction is. We are going to plot the same. So, X test, Y test. And this time we're going to do X test and Y prediction on test data. So look at it. It was able to find the best fit line for X test as well. Though the linear regression model never have seen X test. So it can generalize. It can predict pedal width for any pedal line. So this was a simple linear regression where we had only one training feature, pedal length, to predict pedal width. But it doesn't have to be only one training feature. Linear regression can work when there are multiple training features as well, and we call it multiple linear regression. In my next video, we are going to work on a multiple linear regression where we will predict the housing price using several training features. All right, see you in next video. Thank you so much for watching.